Hi, I'm Brian, and we're out here in the Great Salt Lake on the Salt Flats testing out the Pyro Shot uh, high speed long range PSD ball launcher. And uh, we've got down here is a cylinder of compressed CO2 up through the tubing. There's a regulator here for the pressure, so you can adjust the pressure using this knob here to adjust the pressure at which this la launches. These uh, dragon eggs here, they call them, these have potassium permanganate in them. And so they also have weights so that they can be launched a long way. When you inject one of these with antifreeze, regular ethylene glycol, uh, full strength concentrate, not the 50-50 mix version, um, and the old style green, one, green antifreeze, when you load these balls up and you inject them, starts an exothermic reaction and they start on fire in about 20 seconds after you inject them. So basically once you get this loaded, ethylene glycol is here, to inject the ball that's right here, you pull this back and now you've got about 20 seconds to get rid of it before it starts on fire. Then you pull this forward and rack it in and then hit the button and it launches them. So pull, rack, and launch. Oh, there's one I forgot to inject. That's a pretty common mistake. And so is forgetting to launch it, which we might have a ball in here. So you flip this down, bring it out. Nope, it's still in there. If it does, you can just drop it down out of the, out of the machine, and then you'll be set. The problem when you do that is that it drops a ball into the chamber. So now we inject this one and rack it in place. And now we have two balls, and you can see one of them starting on fire out there as it goes. So that's essentially how it works. Um, if you want to see a ball, I'll inject one, drop it into the launcher, and then we'll put it down on the ground. You can see it here, it's going to start on fire. I'll take it over here. Let's get rid of it. Okay, it's starting on fire now in the tube. I'm not going to push it out of there. They say as it goes, it should pop out. There it is. You can see it's just starting on fire down here. You can put that out with your foot. Pretty easy enough if you get in the field and have that situation. But that's essentially how it works. I've come up with some, I did some testing for distances, and uh, you can take a look at these numbers. At uh, the low end, 40 PSI, we can launch them around 374 feet. Uh, on average, 60 PSI brings us to 533, 100 PSI at 570 feet, and we top out at 140 PSI, and I was getting about 674 feet of distance on the launcher. So that's the basics of how it works. Um, whenever you're traveling with these, make sure that the potassium permanganate, the ethylene glycol are in different compartments in your vehicle and that you keep them separate at all times. Um, also, when you're working in the field, recommend wearing gloves, which I obviously didn't, but uh, definitely in the field, you wanna be wearing gloves and uh, have some water on hand as well, along with good eye protection. So thanks for your time, I hope that's helpful. Read the manual and we'll see you out there.